I'm here at Soon Gallery for an emerging Chinese American artist Clara Lu's solo exhibition, displaying nine playful and experimental pieces. This show presents the progression of both the artist's techniques and thoughts. Faces squeezed into bobs to represent people's idea manifested in physical form, blending daily life objects with faces on canvas to present the day-to-day -day lives of people across the world. Through nine images that depict different human faces, artist Clara Liu created a series of emotions and sensations in her solo show, like weaving a dream reminiscent of Alice's adventure in Wonderland. So faces are how we present ourselves to each other and how we interact with one another. It's also how we read each other emotions and um, how we interact with one another. So through a lot of my works, I wanted to explore how those faces can be read and how I could render the face and to show different emotions, different ideas, different opinions. At just a 20 year old, Clara has been on her path to pursuing the arts for many years, starting with purely technique-based rendering to imbuing concept and thought to work by experimenting all kinds of materials and mediums. The works in the show represent a period of the artist's growth and transformation in both skill and thoughts. With this first piece, I started to um, think about conceptual art, about concepts, about what I wanted to put into my work and speak to my audience. So um, the first couple works are a little bit beginner or basic. They're kind of like right as I was getting into dipping my toes into the water. And then as I progressed, I really started to understand more about myself. So I was experimenting more and having more fun. So I started putting more than one material in one piece. I started to play around with what the limits of oil paint were, what the limits were collage. Uh, her work is quite modern and has youthful spirit. She is actually the first emerging Chinese artist I found in New York whose work has such a high quality. She is an American-born Chinese, so she was influenced by both Chinese and Western culture. However, from her work, you can't find predominantly Chinese or Western symbols. Showing the face from different angles and using brush strokes to give distorted or melted textures to the faces. The facial features of Clara's works remind people of British artist Francis Bacon's works. As a young artist, Clara said she does admire Francis Bacon and she is open to absorbing good ideas from other great artists. Uh, in a lot of ways, I do to look to a lot of different artists, and Francis Bacon is definitely um, someone who I really admired with his the way he depicts these grudging kind of textures in his works, and I think it's beautiful even though it's so gross sometimes, but I, I do love his work as well. The exhibition ran through August 22nd. For more information from Sunovation English Channel, you can find us online at en.sunovation.net. Reporting for the Sunovation Journal, I'm Jane Stone.